even more beautiful than the one I saw in my dream! This is a miracle of nature, like the Great Barrier Reef. Of course it's pleasing to the eye. Many would wrestle with the heat wave and travel all the way here from Alice Springs by bus. Hmm. I have to admit, it is worth the effort. The temperature here will get even higher at noon. Ezra has prepared plenty of cooling tablets and water in the medical kit for us. If anyone still suffers sunstroke, we also have the budgerigar coat as an emergency measure. So that's why Ezra took you to the room before we left. To tell you all this. Ezra is worried about you, and so are we. Hmm. Someone is feeling bad about what she said earlier. If you ask me, that human girl has a good heart. Maybe she can work on her ways of communicating with people, but that altruism in her is almost angel-like. And she has the face of a little angel. Wouldn't be such a bad idea to put her in some baby care commercials. I heard those things pay you generously. I might as well ask what she thinks. Huh? Go forward. Ah! It's talking again! What? Who's talking again? The flame! It's talking! Didn't you hear it? Nah, it sounds the same to me. This is just the sound of fire burning, snoring like my late old man. Well, maybe you can also try turning off this little thingy's TV. Maybe it will jump up and shout, I'm still watching. I'm not joking. It's really talking. Listen. Temperature has gone up, and it's transforming. What is this, a rocket? No more waiting. Everyone, mind your steps and keep up. A race in the desert. Ooh, great. I wonder why I'm not as clever and creative as you are. Miss Verdon, was she talking to me? She always looks over. Perhaps she knows that I'm following them. But no. I'm hiding well. They shouldn't know. Having emotional turmoil, acting impulsively, feeling fanatical about the retrieved memories, and the unstoppable urge to return to the homeland. This all match the description in the research notes. And now the fire, which is also the key in this case, is burning vigorously. Hmm. The notes end here. That's all we know about reincarnators. I can't deduct more based on the current data. But at the same time, the unknown can be dangerous. 
yet exciting. It might bring about catastrophes or miracles, just like arcanists, so charming and lively. My job is to help and protect them, so their burning enthusiasm will not be dampened. Like what Mom said, this is our mission as mankind. The annual jumper frog mushroom, the fairy ring powders, and the butterfly shaped portobello mushroom. Very well, I have them all. This time, I'm prepared for any danger. are carved out of the wall. These carvings existed long before any murals. And they are rougher. Of course they are. Just think, when did our ancestors learn to draw with paints? And when did they start carving with sharp stones? They're beautiful. Like star trails, one circle in another. I think I've seen them before. They feel familiar and make me thirsty at the same time. Look, this circle's just like a spring. We don't need a spring. We brought water ourselves. Drink as much as you want. Hmm? Look here. These are most probably some ancient relics. This one looks like an animal, and this a plant. Hmm. And what is this? Birdie? They have something to do with people's lives. These marks have to mean something. Maybe they will lead us to the entrance to the stadium. This is a time when Spathodea's opinion matters more than ours. Come, key girl, take a look at this. Bathadia? Where... where did she go? And that fire... they're all gone. What the hell is going on again? She better be pulling a prank on me. I heard her footsteps behind me just now. Relax, Desert Flannel. We've got help. Ezra? How... how did you get here? Wait, how long have you been following us? From the beginning, when you were at the hospital. Sorry, Miss Desert Flannel. Please let me check this first. This smell... I can't be wrong. This is Devil's Thorn. What's that? Does it have anything to do with her missing? A rare kind of mushroom that grows in the desert. Allegedly, it's genetically connected to lizards. I've only seen its pictures in books. It has wide open pileus with sharp spikes, and its roots are as absorbent as a sponge, which allows it to absorb and preserve underground water. They only appear around water sources, and with this spiral pattern on the wall, I think... I think I might have a way to find her. Please, come with me.
little flame. <coughs> My throat. It hurts. <coughs> what? A... Do you remember me? I travel through the endless flood, drought, rain, and waterfalls to finally reach you. Do you remember me? I... I do, but not really. I can't recall your name. Oh, your face. But I do remember. Do you remember our fight? or professional games. It's also the sport for which I've been secretly training myself every day after lunch. The light bulbs begin game. Malingi's harvest. No. No. But these are not light bulbs for the athletes to pick up from the ground, but fire. And I don't have such a burning campfire at home. It can only be found... here. Beside the flowing spring, under the starry sky, on the scorching sand, I saw the burning campfire and the sparks scattering in all directions. My hands surrounded by blazing flames, I touched the inner cone again and again as I flew by. Immersed in great joy, I dove down from the air. At that time, our hands held each other in the flames. Our traces went on from one torch to another. Yes, I know. I remember it now. I once drank the cold water in the spring and covered my limbs with colorful strips. I sang and danced until a pair of wrinkled hands touched my forehead. Good girl, my good girl. Your hands are dusted, but you win the game and your soul is sparkling. It's you who find the hottest fire for us. It's you who connect to it and make friends with it. I shall grant you the scepter and lead you to the highest platform. <coughs> I shall become the next priestess of the Uluru Temple. I shall take responsibility for every drop of sweat on the red soil, 
and I shall eulogize all the significant, fair competitions. <laughs> I shall store the flame in my mouth, my stomach, my heart, and my ribs. I shall protect her, not to let her extinguish, nor to let her go astray or away. I hereby swear, I shall be with the Uluru Games until forever. that I know of. What are they? These critters are the guardians of the stadium. They are... Uh, I can explain it later. We have to deal with them first. No time to hesitate. Protect Bathadira and engage. Woo! Great! They are down. Everyone, for the sake of prudence, please stay back and do not approach before confirming the danger has been eliminated. No! There's no more danger now! Look! No need to worry or hesitate. Now, it's all clear. Long story short, mates, I've retrieved many memories. At least now I know who I used to be. My name in the last life was Flannel. Exactly what my close ones call me now. I am still me. I'm not replaced by anyone. You... are still you. The modern vision. This has never happened to any reincarnators as far as we know. That's because Flammy and I are very alike. And we both have the same beauty on our shoulders. <sighs> I am Flammy. I obtained the Uluru Flame from the fire with my own hands. I was the first priestess in the history of the Uluru Games. I am Spavutia. I keep the flame that traveled all the way from the ancient times inside me. I will become the next in the history of the Uluru Games. Remember what I said, mate? My flame is our compass. Mom said good kids never lie. So, I always keep my word. <laughs> 